when the actually the, the call dropped. Uh, so not going to be much people uh, out, out here, I don't think, but uh, it's going to be part of our investigation, reviewing all uh, video footage uh, from our body-worn camera and also the video uh, security footage from uh, of the building here. So the desk clerk called uh, the manager and he came down to help? And I'm that's not sure it... about that. I want oh. to verify that. Okay. okay. You mentioned uh, video. Have you seen the video from the lobby? Do you see the truck hitting the lobby? That's what it the was investigators are, are viewing it, yeah. So I, I, I'll follow up with them, um, yeah. So the truck crashed into two different places or the same yeah. spot? Absolutely. Um, he, he originally crashed into uh, the, the, the outside glass. And then, uh, like I said, the uh, concierge barricaded himself in the secondary office. Uh, he drove the truck through that, trying to get to uh, that uh, concierge. And the man that was stabbed in the back, you said will be okay? Or he's okay. Not? Yeah, he, okay. He's, he, he's he's stable condition, thank God. Do you know if the suspect was under the influence by chance? Or? I don't know. Yeah, he, he's in the hospital in surgery, and that's going to be part of the investigation. Uh, yeah. So he was shot twice. Why each? So tell us about how the suspect was shot. Both cops shot the. Both officers discharged. Uh, we won't know who. Who hit him? Who struck him or not? You know, it's part of the investigation. But we did have two officers with discharge. And he was shot twice, or at least twice. They told me. And he's okay. in surgery. He's in that? surgery as we speak. When we say the suspect was charging at the officers, was he running towards them with the knife? Or I'm what? not sure. Just uh, I, and I don't like to get too much into details. Just try to give you a, a big picture of the story. It's very the preliminary parts of it. Things change, and uh, uh, they did say that they gave him uh, commands. Like he drop your weapon? Yes. Okay. Would you remind the public at home about our release of body more camera policy? Absolutely. So within uh, 30 days, we release all uh, critical incidents involving officer involved shootings. So we'll get that out to you. Okay. Did it look to you from what you've heard that, that this guy driving this truck was trying to, you know, actively run over that front desk clerk or that, that concierge? I mean, the guy went to a secondary office and the truck keeps going? I, I would say it. I don't want to speculate it, but uh, I mean, you got somebody walking away from you. Uh, no other citizens are, are there, and I don't want to say what's going through his mind or what his intent was, but uh, it's a fact that he ran over. We don't that, know if it was intentional. Deceased. We don't know if it was intentional. Or I, I don't want to go into that right now. I don't, I don't so know the construction worker was the person, the fatality, right? Yes. But he okay. was working security. Yes. And he was working security, not working, but he was a. I don't want to. You, you okay. know what? Let, let me. Um, you just heard, of course, this is uh, Houston Police Chief Troy Finner answering questions involved with the person who was stabbed and also the person who was killed in this officer-involved shooting. Of course, we'll have a lot more on our website, CW39.com, and also throughout our newscast and our weathercast this morning here at CW39 Houston. No wait weather and traffic. We'll be right back.